So how cool would it be if you could see all of your Google Analytics data next to your AdWords data? And what I mean by that is it joins the campaign ID. So it takes this campaign ID and it puts the campaign name next to it from um, AdWords, I believe. And then what it's doing is it's pulling in the transactional data from Google Analytics. And then it actually um, is joining all of this data right here with the 20 um, other metrics over here of AdWords, which is like search lost impression share from budget, search lost impression share from rank, content lost impression share budget, content lost impression share rank, lost impression share by budget search, by rank search, by budget display, by rank display, by budget, by rank, lost clicks by budget, lost clicks by rank, lost transactions by budget, lost transactions by rank, lost transactions, lost revenue by budget, lost uh, revenue by rank, lost revenue. And then what it does is, is it sums it all up and puts it in a nice little um, pie chart, which I'm not a huge fan of pie charts, but still. Um, I just wanted to share because uh, this is a cool little demo and I don't want to go too long into it, but it's about a five minute demo to show you real quick and give you the link to put this together yourself. So I just want to show you guys real quick how I put together um, this neat little pie chart that shows your lost uh, revenue by rank, budget, and also shows the delivered revenue. Sorry about all the blurring. I did it to remove my token and uh, private information for my um, API access that I got at the developers console, but basically all of this is included in the original article that's in the link um, that I had originally gotten this information from to build out this script in this really neat report. So you're going to see right here, I uh, had to go up and grab this part of the script to remove the NA values. Don't forget that. You can see that it caused an issue with the sum of the values because it's trying to sum up the lost revenue and sum of delivered revenue to make this pie chart. And so that's why I'm putting a little emphasis on it because it messed me up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick where I got this from. Um, I got this from this actual article here and it's really cool but there's a couple of caveats. I only want to keep this under three minutes so basically you have to set up a um, Google Developers Console uh, project. It shows you how to do that in here and you want to connect to the AdWords API um, but to do that uh, first you want to go in here, create a project, and grab credentials and connect the Analytics API because you cannot connect the AdWords API. And to get the AdWords um, token access, you have to go into your AdWords um, API Center, which is in the, click the little gear in the top right, and there should be an AdWords API um, menu item. This is an old one, so just disregard this, but you'll know when it shows a developer token in there. And if you can't figure out how to get one, um, then go online and look it up because it actually will show you this is kind of newer looking and you'll see down here it'll show AdWords API. But here's some instructions here. It's at developers.google.com forward slash AdWords um, forward slash API and it tells you how to sign up for one of those because it's not uh, normal compared to other um, API access tokens where you just go into the developer's console and you go up here and you create a new project and then basically after you create it, you just go to your dashboard and go to um, enable APIs and services and you, you know, type in analytics and it's going to pull up the Google Analytics reporting API um, and then here's another one as well too. Um, but basically follow the instructions in the actual article. It's pretty cool. Um, there is a few quirks. You saw that I was having some issues there at the end of the script. Uh, basically it was not um, working because it says your values have to be positive and there was some NA values in the campaigns data and so 
what that does is when I ran that last one in there, um, it actually removed the NA values and it switched out with zero. Um, and then when it does that, then you can actually sum up um, your lost revenue, your lost impression share by rank or by budget, and then make this pie chart with ggplot. Um, but it's pretty simple, cut and dry, and what it's doing is basically it's, um, that's from there, oh. It's basically taking your AdWords data and it's taking your Google Analytics data and it's joining out the campaign ID and it's grabbing the transactional data from Google Analytics and it's grabbing the um, campaign data and metrics from lost impression shares, lost received revenue from each of your campaigns at a high level. And basically it uh, joins them together to give you that chart at the end there. I could not finish this up at the end. There's some other graphs I could not get this far. I did post a question on um, Stack Overflow because I was having problems with this part of the script here. So I just wanted to show everybody how I put that together. Um, it was pretty simple and make sure you install your R Google Analytics package correctly. If you don't, you might get some issues with the query when you actually run the pull of Google Analytics data. Um, if you get a weird max rows equal a thousand or some crap like that, and you actually were supposed to get like 1200 or something like that, it could be because you need to restart your R session and install and load the R Google Analytics package um, correctly. And so other than that, this should work, uh, but I wanted to share this with everybody because it's a really cool um, series of scripts and this guy kind of went out of his way to put all this together here and it was pretty cool. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. I just wanted to share.